Hey everyone, it's Brian here. Uh, so I'm just making this video. Uh, so true achievements this year, uh, about third December to the uh, well, I guess it's the end of December. Uh, they've done a, another twelve days of Christmas challenge. I did the same last year. Um, they started on third December. They released the day one challenge. Basically, every day leading up to day twelve, you had a different set of challenges, and it'd be like achievements for the amount of that day. So. Day one would be one achievement and something, day two would be two achievements and something else and so forth until you get to 12. Uh, like I said, I think you get to the end of the month to do it. Uh, but I'm making this video because I just completed it last night uh, and wanted to make a video for it. So I'm going to go through the 12 days with you and the achievements I got. Um, I, like I said, I did the same last year as well. But um, like I always enjoy these. I think it's like 11 a.m. Uh, my time, British Standard Time. Uh, that they release them. So I've been doing night shifts at work for like the past five weeks. So I've literally had to try and stay up from getting back home about quarter past six to 11 o'clock to find out what it is. Probably make a start on it and then go to sleep and then probably continue again and then go to work again. So day one, uh, which is nice and simple, uh, one weird achievement. So you had to get an achievement that does not end in five or zero, which is the standard for uh, Xbox achievements. Uh, there's a, I'm playing a game called FIFA Thieves. Every achievement is 18 gamer score. You have no idea how fucking frustrating that is for me. Because um, I love my achievements to just end in 5 or 0. And I literally fixed it. And now I've had to fuck it up again. Um, day 2 was 2 bonus content. So anything that counts as uh, DLC or additional content. Um, I got Archivist and Legacy or Archivist. I'll say Archivist. And Legacy, um, they're in the Outlast Whistleblower DLC, um, which I had, I didn't realise I had until I clicked on it. Uh, I guess because it was on Game Pass, they included it with it, because uh, I just didn't, because the way they were selling it on the store every time was, if you wanted Whistleblower, you had to buy Outlast with it, but I already had Outlast, so there was no point. Um, and therefore, collecting all the notes and all the documents, so essentially all the titles in the game, um, day three was three shiny diamonds, uh, the achievements that are flagged as rare. They had that as five, day five in the last one. Uh, I got didn't, didn't feel a thing, um, in Ben 10 for beating the final boss without getting hit. I was hoping I'd get the second achievement with it, which is again all the achievements in the game. But for some reason it did not unlock. And I'm now screwed over with it because it's 97% and thinks I've not unlocked the achievement. So maybe I'll try and go back and get that sword at some point. Uh, Candy's camera for taking 10 photographs in uh, Viva Vignata Viva Trouble in Paradise. Um, and then Pow Pow, Bullet Bullet, Bang Bang, I forget, there's some of that. Uh, the thing's too long to read it. Uh, it's in the Lego movie for killing 30 enemies as Cowboy Emmett. Uh, challenge 4 is for online unlocks. Uh, I did one in... Uh, Step four, which is for tank fly boss walk. Can't remember what it's for, I'm afraid. I think it was for completing like a daily or weekly challenge or something. Uh, and I got shareware, entryway, and no rest of being all in Doom, uh, the 2016 edition. Uh, for I think it was creating five maps, playing five maps, and I think it was like I can't remember what the no rest of the living was. I think it was like dying a certain amount of times, or no, I think it was playing 20. I think it was like shared maps. Uh, challenge five was five games of gold. Uh, I got five tunes in Project Cars. I got My Little Friend, You Smell Something, Credit Where Credit's Due, Reverse of Corsa, and Grand Chalem. Um, challenge six was six 20 pointers, so six achievements each worth 20 game score. I got the fussy one in uh, All Star Fruit Racing, Dominoes, and Photojournalist in Dead Rising 2 Off the Record. And then in Crash and Stain Trilogy, Crash 1, Papu Pops, and Catch Me If You Can. I think it was Beat Papu Papu and collect five relics that were gold or better on Crash 1. And then Crash 2 is a road less travelled. Um, I think that was just finding a question mark route. So they're like little bonus stages. Day 7 uh, was 7 backwards compatible. Uh, I was playing Dante's Inferno for this. Uh, I got 7 achievements and I realised because it was 360, you have to reconnect to Xbox Live, and I didn't do that, so I had to get another 7. Um, so that's when I did that. They're all mostly story-based. 
Challenge eight, eight games of milking, eight achievements flag collectible. Probably for me would have been the worst one to do. Luckily, I got seven of them in Dante's Inferno. Could have been eight if I waited, but I was I literally got invested in that game for like the two days. Uh, had one more to get, so I got True Detective in uh, Battlefield Hardline. Day nine, nine letter spelling. So uh, you had to spell, like this one was my favorite one. On the last one, it was Noel, the so N O E L. And this one, it was Christmas. I predicted that it would be Christmas. Uh, so, uh, Crash Insane Trilogy, C1, Ripper Ruined, uh, Badger, Edge of Control, a racing game, Help from Above, um, Go Simulator, I'm going to give this a go as well, I guess, Rhymes Get I Rhymden, I guess, uh, Flat Out 4, got I'm So Sorry, and Smoking, um, MX versus ATV Reloaded, Tuning In, Battlefield Hardline, Motley Crew, um, Goat Simulator, Alexander Goat Staffson, um, and Zoo Tycoon, Smooth Over the Tracks. Challenge 10, 10 Deuce Jumping, 10 Platformer Game Achievements. These were all in Crash Bandicoot. Uh, so Crash 3, Tiny Trounce, Warts and All, Pentas Revenge, Buckle Up Boys, Uf UFO Zing, and Nefarious uh, Trope, I think, and Category 5. Uh, Crash 1, Koala Conked, Crash 2, Professor Pulverized, and A Helping Paw. Challenge 11 is 11 Indie Darlings, so any uh, games that are idea Xbox or Xbox Live Arcade games. I got all 11 in All Star Fruit Racing, uh, which is Don't Slide, You Like to Win Easily, Are You in a Castle, The Dentist, Fruits, Yeah, Strike, The Seed King, Reborn, Winter's Coming, Nostalgic, and Everyone on Holiday. Uh, and then day 12, which was the last one, uh, I'm so glad it wasn't 12 achievements in 12 different games, but it was 12 achievements that contained 12 letters exactly. Um, like I said, this one was very interesting to look at, see what games I had. Uh, so I got Double Yoka in Dirt 4, uh, Step on the Gas and No Flies on You in Rare Replay, haven't played that for a while. Uh, disassembled in uh, Live Lock. Daily Devotee in Sonic Forces, Ashes and Rust in Live Lock, uh, Snap Decision in Strange Brigade, uh, Hot Pit Repair and One First Race in Baja Edge Control, Chimney Sweep in Batman Arkham City, Graceful Exit in Battlefield Hardline, and finally Crash 1, a hidden gem in the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. So this took me about 13 days to do. Like I said, it's a lot of fun. I always enjoy challenges like this. Uh, again, I'll happily look forward to next year's one. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much been my 12 days of Christmas uh, progress, and I'm finally done with it. Uh, unfortunately, because I was disconnected during the whole Dante's Inferno thing, I lost my achievement streak. But now I'm just going to be mainly focused. I'm going to get like continue achievement hunting for the rest of the year, uh, but I'm not going to focus on the streak after that. I'm just going purely on enjoying games, like one at a time, because I've got so many games I need to get through. Uh, but like I said, that's pretty much my 12 days of Christmas. Hope you liked the video, and I shall hope you